Hey YouTube, welcome back to another review. It is time for another edition of uh, Frontals for the Love of the Hops, and this is the Gold Edition. Looks very shiny and awesome, if you ask me. Um, someone is uh, holding a set of binoculars in a hop field. There is a dog in front of. And um, this is a New England triple IPA coming in at 11%. So this is going to be a sipper or not. Maybe, who knows. Um, hops that were used are Simcoe Cryo, Mosaic, Eclipse, Motueka, Motera. Never heard of that one before. Uh, Rakao. Uh, ingredients are uh, water, barley, malt, oats, wheat, malt, uh, maltodextrin, hops, and yeast. Uh, explore a New England triple IPA from the For the Love of the Hop series, brewed with a mix of Simcoe, Cryo, Mosaic, Eclipse, Motueka, Motera, and Rakao hops. I love uh, those uh, New Zealand uh, hops. Um, the Rakao and Motueka, I'm familiar with. Um, love Masink, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Uh, never heard of Motuera. Motuera sounds kind of something from New Zealand, I assume. Uh, if you know, let me know below the video if it's from New Zealand or not. Um, my favorite one from the series is the black and white edition, which is in the back, uh, right there. And um, that was a really nice one. Um, I heard from uh, the brewer, who is a buddy of mine, um, there is also coming a, uh, a black IPA is coming. So very curious about this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Smell that already. Oh, that is a nice uh, yellow, very uh, hazy color with a very beautiful white colored hair, very tiny balls. It looks amazing. Let's go to the nose. Oh my goodness. I have a kind of a cold. Um, so I'm not really uh, having much problems with uh, the smell, but I have kind of a cold, but it is loads and loads of tropical fruits in the, in the nose already. Um, oranges, loads of oranges, uh, stone fruit, pineapple. It smells really nice. Let's have a sip. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. It doesn't taste like 11% at all. That is not going to be a sipper. Um, for a triple IPA, it's a triple New England IPA. Uh, it is slightly sweet, but not overly sweet at all. Um, mostly stone fruits, mango, peach, uh, some pineapple, uh, oranges. Um, nice creamy mouthfeel. That stays on pretty nice as well. Mm. Slightly sweet. But not that sweet uh, as most of the triple IPAs I've had. Um, the style's beginning to grow on me. A couple of years ago, I was not, not the biggest fan of triple IPAs, um, or my taste is getting a bit different, and I'm getting used to triple IPAs, or uh, breweries make better triple IPAs. Who knows? Um, 
sticky as well. Nice creamy mouthfeel, uh, loads of tropical fruits, uh, oranges, uh, peach, mango, some pineapple. Um, nice creamy mouthfeel. Uh, doesn't drink like 11%. Um, overall, a really, really nice triple IPA, if you ask me. Um, if you want to know the score, go to my untapped. Um, I got a message from Frontal that the new box is coming, so I'm quite curious what the new, I already know what the new uh, For the Love of the Hops is, but I won't tell you yet. Um, what's in the new box from, uh, from, from, from uh, Frontal? Um, For the Love of the Hops is always going to be reviewed on my YouTube channel, of course. Um, maybe I will do another one uh, from the box. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, wait and see what's inside. Um, if you want to know the score code to my tab, you can find me there. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already. Uh, let me know below the video what your uh, thoughts on triple IPAs are, or New England triple IPAs, or triple IPAs in general. Um, I'm curious. I'm I'm not the biggest fan, but I don't mind this at all, at all. This is really nice. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer, and hopefully I will see you again soon with another review. Cheers.